see if they stay on the ground for second down. a play fake as they set up to throw going down the middle and it's complete and the play goes for 19 yards gives him a new set of downs from the red zone now they'll look to throw that's going to be caught at the 10 yard line now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw and he will have a touchdown it's their quarterback punching it in from a yard away They'll run it now, out of the gun. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown! Play there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead. Good pass, clean catch, and a house call there on the fly route. And not that much room to operate. So that tells you about his acceleration. We always talk about being able to go from 0 to 60 real fast. Took him less time than that to get to top speed and complete that play. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll set up to throw. He completes it to Henry. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Back here on third on the field. Could they blitz? Here we go now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's taken down at the 43, but now before picking up the first. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Let's go, 319, Again, he'll drop to throw. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. A final shot before the break, Newton. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's incomplete. We'll try to fix in the second half. All right, let's take a look at some. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great effort there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. Three up, here we go. 319. Hot 319. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Now Sanders. Great blocking, nearly sprung in there. Back to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. He's back to throw. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. A portion of the field, and not letting them throw an out route. Throw anything inside, and I'll make the tackle an out route. That, that's not the way you're supposed to play. Performance. We know he's great. We expect it. But this is, this is pretty special what we're watching here. We're watching a guy in total command of every situation, throwing the ball well, guiding his team, moving them. This is a whole lot of fun to watch. Yeah, it was fun last week. Sometimes it feels like we're at all these games. Back to throw. Backing up. This will be caught at the two. And he's brought down after a good game. And a nice gain at 21 yards. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. He'll look to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. 
receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. Cam looking to throw. And this is caught. And it's a three-point game. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Pryor has it complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. In the backfield. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Here we go now. Three, 19. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Getting it out left side to Sanu. Over, over, over. Hold it, hold it. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. The game forthcoming. With two seconds left in regulation, this to force overtime. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. Been thought that we get to overtime after what we witnessed for four quarters. Not at all. And have zero points on either side. Not a chance, right? And somehow it happened. We always talk about making adjustments. Maybe both defenses took four full quarters in order to get an adjustment. Got one good period in for both defenses, and now they go home. You buying tonight? Ah, uh, I thought it was you. I did last week. I did the last two weeks. Give it up. You say, okay, where did that happen? Who broke down? Who gave it up? Instead, just go back out there, be a unit again, and try and play a little bit better. Yeah. You're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Now they run with Sims. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. He would present great opportunities for big-time runs. We're not getting that so far. I don't know if this is a game. Oh, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. What they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. If you throw one, you likely cost yourself the game. And now back out comes the offense. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Now a handoff as they run left side. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. They go play action here on first down. And that is, I think he caught it. He did, but they'll say out of bounds. It'll be incomplete. They'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. We needed extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off, but all throughout, really just a great game to witness. I agree, and, and the whole time we were watching and, and working on this game, I had it in the back of my head. We could get to overtime. Just the way this game went, the ebb and flow of it all, and then to get there and finish it, what I would call an old-school way, a running play, because in today's NFL, we throw the ball to ring the bell, don't we? <laughs> Not there. They ran it in. And again, just a great, great game that we bore witness to.